welcome back to On the Shelf, the series, a YouTube channel dedicated to talking to folks with all sorts of collections. I'm talking comic books, sports memorabilia, movie props and replicas, sneakers, cars, you name it, we'd like to bring them on. And we'll be talking to them about some of the pieces in their collections, as well as how they first got into collecting. Before we get into this episode, this next episode, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for subscribing and also for watching episode one. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, there's a little button right down there that says subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I did really enjoy uh, making episode one, uh, and I really hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Episode two features a longtime supporter from the great state of Illinois. I hope you enjoy. With me today, I have Elena White. All right, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Elena, actually, fun fact, she's been uh, one of my first Cape Justice customers, as you can tell from the necklace she is currently ne wearing. Made That's sure awesome. to represent it. <laughs> um, so when I, she's been posting, and I've been following her on her Instagram page for a while, and she's been posting these awesome, like, letter blocks, and especially, like, the Superman ones. So when I had put the call out for people, if they were interested, to come on to the show, to this new show I'm doing, and she said, I'm interested. How do you not say yes? So, Madam, if you would do me the honor of introducing yourself and telling me a little bit about yourself. All right. So um, I'm Elena. Uh, I'm 25. I live in Southern Illinois. I graduated Southern Illinois University Edwardsville with my Bachelor of Fine Arts. My uh, area of focus was printmaking, which is basically this really giant overarching uh, way to say letterpress printing, screen printing, um, monotype printing, litho printing, all kinds of different uh, things you can do under the umbrella of printmaking. And mm -hmm. I currently work as a screen printer uh, at a local t-shirt shop. We do uh, awesome. shirts for schools and businesses and stuff in the area. And also, as you uh, know, I do a, a Etsy shop, so I screen print at home as well in the nighttime. So I'm yep. just all, all around printing. All and sorts of busy. All sorts of busy. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so, all right. Yeah, so now you said, like you said, it's a huge um, umbrella that you, you majored yeah. under. Uh, that's that's like, I, I was an English teacher. So I was I, I studied in English. So that's like a, a gigantic umbrella. So I feel you on that. But you specifically um, are here to talk about your letterpress. So how did, tell me about letterpress in general, letterpress blocks and letterpress, you know, the process and everything. Tell me about it a little bit. So, um, Letterpress printing is just a form of relief printing where there is a raised surface that has your okay. text or your image, and you ink up that surface, and then when you put the paper on it, it transfers yeah. to the paper just through um, some kind of pressure, whether that be hand printing or like if you do a traditional running it through an actual press where you've got these rollers that go over it and uh, evenly disperse the pressure and print it, prints it that way. <laughs> Okay. So awesome. um, it was the, for the, excuse me, I have my notes. For the uh, right. early 19th century, uh, up until then, it, letterpress printing was the main method of printmaking. You've probably heard of Gutenberg. He uh, in, invented the adjustable type mold, which allowed yep. for fast, much quicker printing. And uh, basically, yeah, it was what was used up until the 19th century when computers and stuff came around. And awesome. now a lot of people just find letterpress as a fun hobby and they make cards and posters and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, you can look up and find a lot of awesome things on Etsy as well. Yeah. I, I mean, again, you're, the stuff that you've posted has always been super neat and uh, I use neat a lot. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's obviously, like you said, it has such a, a history to it that, um, you know, it, it's it's great that people are still doing it. So how did you get into it? Why specifically letterpress printing and collecting letterpress blocks? Well, so I, st so I studied printmaking in college. And even though right. I didn't really do any actual letterpress printing, because we only had one uh, Vandercook letterpress, but it was only available in the grad studio. So I didn't get to use it while I was there um, for letterpress. Grads. But um but I, I would just love printmaking in all of its forms. And so mm -hmm. anytime I found a letterpress block at a, a flea market or an antique mall or something, because me and my family like to do that a lot, 
if it's cheap awesome. enough, I pick it up. I don't care what the picture is. I want it because I just, <laughs> I'm so enamored with the process. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's so cool how these pieces last forever. And, and um, what's so great about printmaking in all its forms is it's such a democratic medium where you can print multiples over and over and over and just share art with everyone. And I just think that's something that's that really attracted me to the medium in the first place, which is why I picked it as my discipline. So just anything I can find that's printmaking related, I pick it up and I just, I want it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. So, all right. So big question. What did you bring for us to see today? All right. So I picked out a few of my favorite blocks because I awesome. counted, I think I have about 50 blocks, which sounds like a smaller collection, but um, it's just anytime I find them, I'll pick them up. So it'll, it'll grow. Um, one of my favorites here is this letterpress block of an actual printer that awesome. is printing the way he would um, back in the day with a, an actual, probably like a Chandler and Price type printer. Uh, okay. And then, so that's the block itself, but here is a print the of image. it. Wow. So you nice. See, Basically, he's putting paper on the press, and then what would happen is these rollers would come down and ink up the plate, and then it would mm -hmm. it would sandwich together and uh, pull apart, and so you'd have your ink then transferred to the paper. And so I always really like that block because it's a printmaking printmaker, and I just think that's so fun. Um, another one of my favorites is this one, which I found on Etsy just during a random search it's for uh okay. pet milk and evaporated milk and the reason why i think this one's so cool is because pet milk actually originated in highland illinois which is where i live it's where i'm where i'm from so when i wow. found that i was like wow that's really cool so and here's the printed image the thing there so, so where yeah. did you actually wind up making where did you wind up finding it from it was it was you from illinois but where did you wind up buying it from what state was it illinois as well no, I, I just bought it from an Etsy shop when, and I can't remember where they were located, but they definitely weren't from here. And I, when I left my review, I commented and left a picture and I was like, this is from like, I'm, you literally sent this back to the town where this originated and they were so awesome. excited to hear about that. Um, so this is definitely some, a, a, a great piece for my collection. Um, cause it's close to my heart from where I'm from, where I live and fantastic. I could e easily donate it to the local museum or something someday if if they ever need it. But my favorite pieces and the pieces I think you'll really love. Um, <laughs> Can't imagine why. <laughs> I know. Is, so as you know, I also really love Superman. I have a big Superman collection um, as do. well. But for this piece, I wanted to show, this is the biggest letterpress block I have in my collection. And it is a Oops. advertisement for different Superman items where you wow. see there's like a raincoat and some ponchos. Yeah. Like the display boxes where they kept them. And then also awesome. a fun thing about it is right over here, this is a Popeye coat um, in the same advertising page. And Popeye happens to be my second favorite uh, cartoon character. So it's like, this is perfect. <laughs> it's printmaking, awesome. it's Superman, and it's Popeye. It's like three of my favorite things on one. And so one of, one of my yeah. goals is to, uh, if I could find these pieces that they're advertising and add them to my Superman collection, I just think that would be super awesome. Uh, pardon the pun. <laughs> yes. Now I think yeah. I got to be honest with you, Elena, I, there's probably a bunch of Superman groups that like one of those Superman collectibles groups, which I don't, are you actually, you're, I, you're, you're on Facebook, right? Yes. So there's, there is a couple Superman collectors groups, which sometimes they do have stuff like that. We have to, I have to invite you to the group now. We have to see if we can get you in yeah. and see if we can find them. Definitely. I, I haven't searched for any of this stuff yet, but I'm sure I'm sure with some Googling, I could find something or uh, find some other collectors to find things with. But And then the final thing I got for you here is the first Superman-related letterpress block I found. in a, I was searching on Etsy. I, every now and then I go through Vintage Superman. I just look for more things to add to my collection. And I kid you not, this was on page 53. I was just going through, going through, going through. And it is the smallest block in my collection. And it is a cover of an Action Comics 38, I believe. It's hard to tell. It's awesome. I think it's Comics 38. Um, this was probably used as 
advertisement in a newspaper for like this is the next issue coming out but it's this fun little Sick. superman block and when i found that i was i was so excited i'm, I'm not kidding you i cried i was like this is the coolest thing because i found it before i found this big one over here with the advertisement really i was just like I can't believe it. It's my favorite thing, Superman. I've been obsessed with Superman since I was, like, super young, like, before I could even remember. And printmaking, which is, like, my whole life. And they're in one thing. And it was just, it blew my mind. So uh, that's definitely, like, the coolest thing I, I own in both my Superman collection and my letterpress collection. What was your first piece? Do you remember what your first uh, block was? Um, overall, first not block, Superman, overall block. Overall was probably um a i have a in the picture i sent you of my whole collection yep. there's a really long one that something says something about uh something new can happen to you i believe is what it says it's just this okay. really long way about this big um like it's like double text drawn and it's really cool that one i got from my older brother he was also an art student okay. and he in a project in high school and uh when he moved out he w didn't want to move a bunch of his stuff so he left some of it behind and I was able to keep that and it just so happened that I ended up majoring in that and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect and that was probably the first one I remember getting okay so now you obviously Superman fan and I see the uh the Superman cutout above your uh behind your right shoulder yep mm -hmm. so um how big is your Superman collection um it's not huge. I don't have a whole room full of it, but my room is pretty big. I probably could display it all if I had better wall space. But if you can tell by the way the ceiling vaults, because I'm up in the yeah, it I just I have very very little um, shelf space. I have an, a shelf over above my bed that's full of most of like my favorite items, and then the uh, the rest of the stuff is in boxes in my closet. I probably have about four tote boxes full of stuff that one day when I have my own place they'll be out somewhere. <laughs> so how long, how long have you been collecting Superman stuff? You said you've been a fan since before you remember. So how long have you been collecting Superman stuff for? You know, probably just as long because awesome. uh, people, I, I was, I was never a very girly girl growing up. So people, you know, I didn't like the Barbies and the dolls and that kind of thing. So people would just get me Superman stuff. And even even when it wasn't my birthday, they would see something Superman in the store, and if it was cheap enough, they'd pick it up for me because they just thought of me, and they're like, oh, right. you know, I love this. And so I have quite a big collection. A lot of my things were multiples. I probably have, you know, four or five of some, some items because I've had that many people gifted to me because they all know I love Superman. And, uh, yeah, it, I remember distinctly – for my fifth birthday, I had a Superman cake and I was wearing my Superman shirt with a, with a hat and I was doing the little pose and <laughs> I went to uh, Metropolis, Illinois um, for the yep. Superman celebration. Uh, that's actually only three hours south of where I live. So it's a nice little really? road trip. Yeah, it's really great. I haven't been since probably 2012 after I graduated high school, me and some of my friends went down there. Um, I keep okay. wanting to make it, back, but every year I'm Something's, something's in the same way. My mom's birthday's that same weekend. So it, uh, I'm going to get back there soon, for sure. Well, I mean, next year, hopefully it'll, uh, everything will be back in business next year. So there's always next year, right? All right, so let me ask you. Um, now, we're even going to expand this to the Superman collection. If money was no object and time travel wasn't an issue like it seems to be right now, and you had a DeLorean or a TARDIS or something, and you were able to go back in time and to any period – with a bucket load of money and get your favorite piece, whether now it's Superman or even your letterpress boxes, what would you get? And so why? I was thinking about this and you opened up Superman, but it, my, my answer already had to do with Superman to begin with. Okay. Um, these Superman letterpress boxes, except for, except for, especially, excuse me, this one <laughs> here, um, I would love to have a, full size like comic cover of Superman um but from what I did I did a little bit of research before this and it sounds like a lot of them were destroyed um just because they were comics were shoddily printed uh for a mm -hmm. long time and a lot of them didn't make it but if, if any of them did I would love to have like like this one full size 
Superman cover, have have the Action Comics, a Superman across there. That that would be that'd be amazing. That's what I would want. That'd be a thing. Awesome. So, all right, last question. Now it actually goes back, obviously, to the logo of my show. If you were had only one shelf, now you have the the vaulted ceilings anyway, but if you had one shelf that you're only allowed in your brand new house, your current living situation, and you could only put three items on it, anything, letterpress, Superman now, what would they be? Hmm. Wow. So I would probably have to do the letterpress block of the printer just because I love how, I love how meta it is of printmaking. Um, and definitely my little Superman block of the cover because that's just too, too freaking cool. I can't believe I even found that. And probably, probably the pet milk, just because I think it's so cool that I found something from my hometown, uh, where, you know, that yeah. fits my, my niche interest. I just think that's super fun as well. That's awesome. I'm so glad. And hopefully it wasn't made with real pets. Cause that would be really <laughs> right. awkward. <laughs> so listen, I really want to thank you for coming on the show. Um, if you'd like, we're going to put a, a link to your Etsy shop at the end in the credits somewhere, you know, in the new magical scrolling credits that I figured out how to do. And um, please folks, if you like awesome screen printed shirts, if you want to check out more of her collection, you can see it on my page. I'm going to give you a link to her Instagram page and thank you all for watching. Elena, thank you for coming on as, thank you so much and always, for and, me. and always thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Yes, of course. And, um, We'll talk soon. Take care. Definitely. Bye.